right over the tip of my gun. Stay on that strutter. Got him. I got him. That right there, baby doll, is how she's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I got it. I don't know. I was watching. Oh, I don't really care. Did I get in? <laughs> I mean, she gave us a hunt. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. yeah. was a turkey hunt right there, folks. And that was a long shot. Ooh. Ooh, baby doll. He's a good one. He is a good one. How far of a shot was it? I mean, to that tree, that's all. 45, 50. I had to sit up off the tree. 
just to get an angle at him because he's walking away. But it's got to be now or never, so. Isn't it like every time you come, we end up getting something? Oh, yeah. Just good luck, you know? <clears throat> well, that's given. He's a good one, though. If it were for the were, hen, I would have struggled well, to the find hens, him again. Well, the hens are the only reason he even came close to us. He was going to go to the field to the other hens. And then a couple of hens flew down right here. Oh, man. He wore me freaking out. <laughs> it was not that bad. Well, you... <laughs> not you everything can come easy. <laughs> well, I was shaking because I had that gun up so awkwardly and my hands, my arms were shaking and getting tired. That's a long walk out of here now. <laughs> Dang. Good job, babe. Right. Do anything time. that was you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. We did it together. He's a gooder, though. Look at the spurs. Gooder. Those are daggers. Oh, <laughs> I, I saw it almost get above your boot. <laughs> it was close. That close. I feel like the water got higher. I agree. I know, but on the bank, watch your first step up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I almost just went over. I would have laughed so hard. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> and I can see him good now. I think we really just need to get in their bubble. No matter oh, where they roost, we gotta get within within 80 yards of them. Oh, I fully, I'd be fine with sitting underneath the tree they're in. Yeah, I don't. Long story short, I just got permission on this property literally five minutes ago. And there's two strutters with a hen, and they just broke off with a couple other hens. And we're we're at a good vantage point right now. We should be able to see them go right into the tree damn near. Yeah, I would think we'd be able to see them go into the tree. God, I'm going to be sleepless all night trying to think about what decoys to use. I decided this morning and screwed us, so you'd see them <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs>
we got one. Well, sorry, bud. That's all right. I would like to say it's nobody's fault but mine, but I don't even think it's my fault. I don't know what your deal is. I cleaned it. I cleaned it last night just for that reason. That's got to be hilarious on the GoPro. <laughs> oh, hey. Good stuff. You bet, man. I yeah. didn't mean to kill the mood. But that, I mean, yeah. It's... It sucks, but... Hey, like I told you this morning, a bird in the hand beats two in the bush, so... <laughs> I'm a lot better to see one dead than two, or two alive. Right. Oh, when he's, and when they popped out together there, I'm th I was thinking, oh, here we go. Yeah, you go, here comes the second one. I'm like, oh, I see him. Trust me, I'm on him. Lying down. Yeah. Good choice on the hen decoy. I'm glad I decided that. You did not decide that. I did decide I said that. it last night, and then I refrained, and I let you, let you decide then. Yeah, well now we know at least for the next couple mornings. Yeah. Well, that's three mornings in a row we could have killed with a, just a hen decoy. That was fun though, between last night finding them and knocking on the door. and It's just a fun process to figure getting out. Up at, never, getting up at three o'clock. Never, something. we've never come and sat here before, ever. Yeah, I looked at a map. That was fun watching them come in though. I mean, through the darkness. <laughs> yeah. I told you, they were, they looked like they were going to fly down. No. Those are good pictures.
dust. Dust. Oh, he's got the shittiest fan ever. Boy, his head was awesome. I was shaking so bad. My my knee was shaking. I, I was afraid he was gonna see me shaking. I just let the boys know. I gotta stay put because the other three guys are sitting just over the knoll here. Oh, sundown throwdown morning panned out really well. God dang, that was freaking sweet. The hens come right to my window at 10 yards and they got spooky, turned around and left. He just kept coming, marched right in, was going right to the decoy. I did not think he was gonna come all the way in like that. My lone hen decoy was the absolute ticket right there. Oh, and my shot. I must have had the gun right on my shoulder because that freaking hurt. It was three and a half, so I'm putting a beating on the shoulder <laughs> this year. Got another tag in my pocket, so I'm just gonna sit tight. Cause that bird ain't flopping. Back now, let's go get our prize. Drew's heading up there. I saw another two birds, but I think they spooked because they saw Matt, and Matt didn't see him. Well, I had a bird coming out to me. Had that hen come out in front of me. I could hear drumming. Tom coming, and uh, we did the old split up this morning, as you saw Briggs across from me, and uh, I heard a gunshot, and apparently, Corey decided that he was going to shoot one, so he dusted one, sounds like about 10 yards away, let's go see what he's got to say. Dust. Dusted. I shit my pants, we're going to have to go home so I can change. <laughs> Dude, it was so sweet. He shot, and I jumped up, expecting there to be another ones running at me. It was so sweet. Like, they come out, they came out. Right on the knoll? Like 20, 30 yards away. Yep. And the hands just started filtering out right to the decoy, and they got spooky. Right to where he's dead, they got spooky, took off, and he just kept strutting right in. Come right up the edge. I mean, I was tucked in really good against that tree. I had this brush in front of me. Mm-hmm. And he cleared this, he cleared this one bush and I just let him have it. Then it just, it's like he just exploded. I'm, He's got the worst looking fan ever. Yeah, it's the same one that had like 70 hens last week. <laughs> yeah. I bet he's a dinosaur. He's got to be. Yeah, he's, he's alright. Oh, not as, not a single flop. Did you shoot him in full strut? Yep. Broadside. <laughs> Here's Corey's. Here's a Corey. Hold on. Here's Corey's setup. So if you're this bird, yeah. His fan. Let me see it. <laughs> All I noticed was a shit fan when I first saw him. You sure it wasn't your pattern? No, because it was plain as day at 10 yards when he was standing right there. It was probably all 15, probably. Yeah, it's not farther than but I was. No, it's I was, not farther than 15. I was hitting good, though. Yeah. I was pretty pumped about that when I set up. Yeah. Isn't that where we made the spot? Yep, that's the brush mine right there in two trees. I was going to say, we made that. I kind of gambled by facing Just this taking, direction. Just taking credit that was me that built that one. Yeah. Well, I kind of gambled by facing this direction. I kinda, yeah, I knew you were. I kind of wiped out everything because you were over there. Well, that hen come out right there, and now the she one? walked right behind me. I'm pretty. I thought the other one was gonna come right behind, right out behind her. I mean, I was ready, rolling, and then boom! I went, Whoa. <laughs> that was fun though with all of us sitting out here. You guys had no idea what's going on up here. No. No. 
it was kind of weird because like we could all see different stuff and we could all see well apparently matt didn't see anything even though the birds walked right by him <laughs> he went to the hangover stand for a reason yeah he's <laughs> hanged over <laughs> hey dude we got a lot of birds to find today so let's go find some more yep Late season birds. And they're always in trouble every year. Number six for me. For the group. I think it's 43 for the group. And our goal was 50. Well, today's Sunday. And we have the rest of today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. The season's over. But the weather looks sketchy as hell the next two days. So we pretty much only have today to kill birds. So I doubt 50 is going to happen. But we had 42 last year. So we officially beat last year's number. So that's encouraging. But just a fun, a fun morning. There's nothing like hunting with your buddies. We all split up on the same farm. And we could talk to each other and let each other know what we were seeing just fun i mean it's a different way of doing it normally you don't like to be bothered by anybody else when you're hunting but 